Hello? Is anybody still out there? Is anybody out there? Okay, so... I want to be that legit person that, you know, takes her time, puts on an outfit, gets a backdrop, and does a YouTube video. But I'm not there yet. I promise I'm trying to get there. Kind of. I'm working on myself. So, I guess I just want to do a little update because I did do some exciting stuff. And I haven't been on here for a while. And I was in the Uber the other day. And the lady suggested that I do YouTube. And I was like, oh, that's crazy because I was but i gave up because that's my thing and anyways so where do i start okay i don't know how much i want to spill so like uh, i had a very sad sad girl time at the beginning of the year i got very depressed no let's not go there i'm trying to be like i'm trying to put out happy content anyways okay so i almost moved to new york at the very beginning of the year i was like there's nothing here for me anymore my family moved out of the city that i'm living in right now so i'm kind of out here by myself and even though i hadn't been living with them for a while it was still like they were still close by so you know I guess that was a reason, but I was like, fuck this. There's nothing here for me. My job is not stimulating me. And I just want to go to New York. But then Corona happened. And so I made a friend and she kind of redirected me. And she was like, girl, are you sure? You should wait. You should pray about it. And I'm so... So I'm still in Texas. I didn't do it because I'm scary. Um, and I guess that's one of the things I need to work on is like being better about taking risk. I don't know if I did the right thing by not going to New York. I mean, New York is not going anywhere. I don't think. But we'll see. Now I'm kind of stuck here because I started some stuff out here. But whatever. I like it out here because it's calm. <sighs> I feel like I'm developing like a speech impairment where like I just stutter or like I just get stuck. So I've been writing more so. Even when I was younger though, my dad would tell me like, you should just, you should just write it out because I'm not understanding you. Sometimes when I talk, like I don't let out my full thoughts. So I've been writing a lot. And I wrote a piece for a book. Oh, well, maybe we can drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I wrote a piece for a book. And I'm very excited about it. It's already out if you guys want to get it. You can get it through me or you can get it on Amazon. It's called It Was Necessary. And that was fun. That was an experience. I'm proud of myself because I managed to see it through to the end you know and actually finish something which has not been a recurring theme in my life but I think I'm still finding I'm still getting to know myself in like as a human like is like just as, on a basic level I'm still finding myself so like on a creative level it's definitely a little bit harder because I do think I'm creative in a lot of aspects, but I'm just looking for the medium that best fits me. So I'm trying out writing for now. Um, yeah, but I would like to get back into the whole YouTube thing. I also started going to like some classes. I don't know if I want to share so much about that yet because girl, let me tell you, school is annoying. No shade, all shade, all offense, bitch. Bitches is annoying. Did you know that? Did you know that, like, people in school, like, still be on their kids' shit? Did you know that? Okay. Well, they do. So, if you're thinking about going back, make sure your patience is where it needs to be at. Because these kids, it's their kids. Also, what else? I went back to Miami. I hadn't seen my friends in four years, maybe. So, that was so much fun. And I wish I had vlogged the whole thing. But, no. 
I don't know. I kind of feel weird now. Like, I've been like... Like, really, I don't leave this room unless it's to go to class or to go to work. And even before, I wasn't really going out much. And it's just like... It's too much going outside. I guess I'm going through a phase where, like, I really don't want to be nowhere. Like, I want to be there. And then when I'm there, it's just too much. I don't like people looking at me. And I don't know. I feel like I draw a lot of attention. And it makes me uncomfortable. Especially you guys. I don't know, guys make me a little uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, I did go to Memphis too. That was so much fun. I had them in a Bill Street, but it's Corona. So it's not like I was partying or anything. Did have one drink just so I could get my little picture. Um, I'll insert the clips of the, of like, I took some pictures, but the lives came out better. <laughs> I'm so happy that iPhone does that because really you'd be coming out a lot better in the lives. No shade at all to the pictures. But or maybe I'm just not photogenic. I don't think I am. Yeah, but anyways, it's funny because this one guy came, came up to me and he was like, can we take a picture? And I was like, no, what the fuck? What if you end up on the internet? You never know. You end up on the internet. This guy talking about, I met the love of my life. Somebody retweets, like, she can find me. And like, whole time you ain't even had a conversation before. He just came up to you talking about, can I get a picture? Like, no, that's weird. Like, y'all are weird. I hadn't been out and about, um, especially because I was in a relationship last year. And so, like, when I did go out, I was always with my dude. But. Like, now, like, what's up with the way y'all hit on people? Like, that has changed. It's a lot of, like, a lot of picture stuff, a lot of Instagram catchphrases, which are very weird to me. I find them strange. Um, But, yeah, I put those in there. <laughs> and then if you run into them, so they'd be like, oh, I did come out in the picture. Face ass. Um, what else? Miami, oh my god, Miami was so fun. I'm this close to just moving back there because I just want to be on the beach. Like, really, if it were up to me, I'd just be on the beach all day. But I'm also, like, this close to, like, just going back to the country. I mean, just going back to Venezuela because why not? You feel me? Why not? Just live a simple life. Psych! I need to get rich. Do I? I know I do. I do. I need to stop being hesitant about my desire to be rich because it's very not like it's not cool. I feel like it limits me to be like, oh, I want to be rich. Kind of. I think so. Maybe if you want it for me. Like, no, bitch. I want to be rich. Fuck that. The other day, I had a dream that I was, I guess I was like at a Neiman Marcus kind of store, but of the future. And I was buying. I think they were Prada, but they might have been Dior. They were like <laughs> these like puffer boots. They were like navy and a darker shade of navy. And they were like tall and they were beautiful. And then there was like some pink Chanel shoes, but the heels were like cylinder like. But they're like the OG classic ones. I have the little like black peep toe thing. Yeah, so anyways. Yeah, I'm trying to find I'm trying to find my balance, you know. Even though I'm a Libra, I don't know. Are we really balanced? Are Libras really balanced? Or is that what we really struggle with me? Or are we just like back and forth? Because I feel like I wanna be balanced, you know. I'm gonna be my little hood rat hippie-ish self that I feel like is more or less what my um aesthetic is kind of 
And then some, like, I want to be that, but also then I get like, oh, I want to be like some classy, bougie bitch. You feel me? Stuck up vibes. Cause, cause why the fuck not? But then that's really, that's going to be really hard to pull off. Cause that's really not me at all. But I can't pull any of them off because it's just back and forth. Like it's just fucking extremes. I don't know. Anyways, I was thinking of doing a um, podcast, but it would be, would have to be, I stick to a topic long enough. Do we think I can do that? <laughs> maybe, but also maybe not. So anyways, yeah, that's what I've been up to. So uh, let me show you guys the book real quick and then that'll be it. And then if you guys have any video ideas or if you guys want me to keep doing this, like comment, subscribe, you know the deal. Also, how convenient that, like, I put my name as spicy and now there's, like, like people are going around, white people calling themselves spicy is, like, a, like, I'm white, but I ain't really, like, what does that mean? Anyways, these are the books. I wrote them. I wrote them with a lot of amazing women that... I got to have dinner with them when we went I went to Memphis. Um me and my friend we both went. Um and let me tell you, I haven't had a chance to read the whole book yet because the books arrived literally the day that we were headed to Memphis. And some of the stories that we just got to talking about at the dinner table were so heavy and it just goes to show you that like everybody goes through something. Everybody goes through something equally harder. You know, everybody has their own story and it's real. <laughs> it's real out here. So this is what the book looks like. I wanna give everybody a shout out, but I'm just I always say I'm gonna push it in the cat in the description. I don't push it in the description. Um but yeah, I'll put a picture of all the names in the back because I don't want to butcher anybody's name and like say it wrong or anything. <laughs> um, yes, I did have some video ideas that I wanted to do. So maybe I'll get back on my, get back on my shit. Because really, I feel like creatively constipated. Is that a good close? <laughs> Is that a good closing one? All right. See y'all later. See you later, alligator. We're smoking crocodile. I don't know. Wait, no, that ain't right. <laughs>